So the other day while I was procrastinating working on my big video, I decided I wanted to watch some sort of lighthearted fun musical. Fun and musical it was. Lighthearted it wasn't. So Chicago is a 2002 musical crime comedy drama thing, I think? It was a smash hit and even won Best Picture at the 75th Academy Awards. The film is about Roxy Hart, a struggling singer who, after cheating on her husband with the promise of getting a spot in a vaudeville act, shoots her lover when she finds out he was lying. Roxy gets sent to an all-women's prison where she meets Velma Kelly, a famous vaudevillian who Roxy's a huge fan of that also murdered her husband and her sister. Roxy hears that the prosecutor is attempting to get Roxy hung, so she hires a big-shot defense attorney named Billy Flynn. Roxy soon realizes that she is getting massive attention from the press due to the trial and wants to drag her fame out for as long as possible. I've always loved darker musicals like Sweeney Todd and Little Shop of Horrors, so a musical about a murder trial is right up my alley. You may be asking, it's a musical, how's the music? And it's pretty good. One of the most important things for a musical is to have good music, and Chicago has that in spades. Each song moves the plot along, as well as being catchy and enjoyable to listen to. Some highlights are we both reached for the guns, cell block, tango, all that jazz, and I move on. The only song it wasn't wild about was Mr. Cellophane. It does its job in showing us how Amos feels through all of this, it's just not as enjoyable as the other songs, but it's definitely not bad. All of the performances are great and each of the characters are equally unlikable, but in a good way. The main problem for me though is the editing. The editing is super early 2000s and it's very hyperactive. It's not necessarily bad, it just doesn't work for me. You can tell that the editing is a stylistic choice and it does work sometimes, unlike something like Bohemian Rhapsody which has unintentionally awful editing. Most musicals have great songs but struggle to make the non-singing scenes live up to the same quality as the musical numbers. Like 95% of Chicago is musical numbers, there's not many scenes where there's not a song going on, but the non-musical scenes, like the courtroom scene, are equally high energy and just as interesting to watch. The costume design is fantastic, with each musical number having its own distinct look. Every costume is super sparkly, it's like the actresses were planning on leaving set and going directly to the Oscars. And, uh... Jennifer Madeloff? Jennifer Madeloff. <laughs> One interesting thing that Chicago does is the way that they frame each musical number. In this film, every musical number is a cutaway with characters on a stage expressing their inner thoughts. These scenes are interwoven with what is happening in the real world, which is a very interesting way to implement the musical numbers in the story. For example, in one scene where several of their inmates are explaining how they murdered their husbands to Roxy, the film cuts between the six girls acting out their murders while doing the tango, with them casually explaining it to Roxy while at lunch or while washing clothes. Each musical number follows the rules of this framing device and it leads to a really interesting mix, and even the dancing in each musical number is metaphorical and not just dancing for the sake of dancing. During the song We Both Reached for the Gun, the film attempts to show how Billy Flynn, who's played by Richard Gere, has the press's opinion of Roxy on a string. The film does this by cutting between Roxy's real press conference with scenes of Flynn controlling Roxy, who looks like a dummy, and several journalists dancing around in the backgrounds that are meant to look like marionettes. This is one of those films you go in pretty much for the music, the story's kind of bland, it's not really all that jazz. You see what I did there? For some reason, there's one part in the movie where Roxy fires Billy Flynn, and then like five minutes later, he's back and just mentions that she rehired him earlier. It was probably something from the musical that they had to cut for time, but I'm not really sure why it was necessary for the story. One interesting thing is that the agents of Renee Zellweger and Catherine Zeta-Jones started fighting about who got top billing on the poster. They solved it by doing this like diagonal billing where the right side was raised up and the left side was lowered down so that depending on which way you read it, one actress had top billing one way and the other the other way. I just thought that was cool, I guess. And speaking of petty celebrities, let's talk about the Oscars. So this movie was an award season darling, and I think it might be a little overrated. The film won six Oscars, some of which it deserved, like Best Costume Design, but it also won Best Picture. While Chicago was great, I think most of the other films nominated for awards were better, and more deserving of Best Picture. It also won Best Film Editing, further proving that the Academy thinks that noticeable editing equals good editing. <coughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. <coughs> Chicago, along with Moulin Rouge, are also credited as helping create a resurgence of big Hollywood musicals, so we can blame Chicago for Cats. 
Is Chicago a great musical? Yes. Should it have won Best Picture? No. Chicago is probably the best of the modern movie musicals. I'm assuming it's a pretty good adaptation of Chicago because in most of these movies you see a bunch of Broadway fans being like, oh, it's straying too far away from the source material. It's not good. But for someone that never saw the play, I enjoyed it a lot. Chicago is a great musical that's pretty funny at times and has some great costume design songs and dance sequences. While the story could be a little meatier and the editing could be a lot better, it's definitely still a great film. And that's why I'm giving Chicago an 8 out of 10. There aren't a whole lot of modern movie musicals that are great and I've been trying to look for a few of the better ones, so if you know any let me know down in the comments below and I'll probably check it out. Anyways, if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe for more gaming and movie content along with random reviews throughout the week. See ya! This is Boomerang from Cartoon Network.